Who cares? Let's play H4. Oh, 2,500. A big guy. Fanat. Okay. Fanat Magnus. So this must be... I don't speak Latin, but Fanat Magnus. This guy must be a fan of Magnus, right? Take and take and it takes. I take and it takes, 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 queen e2. Come on! Oh my god! That is why now you resign sometimes. Oh, voila. I didn't even have to make any moves. <laughs> All right, let's keep going for the next game. I think there's a ducky game for the gifted sub DB Dale for 22 months and Epic to die for the tier one. Uh, again, we're disrespecting our met, our opponents. So let's keep disrespecting them. Um, it's turning into a very real opening. So I'm going to play a five, a four. Yeah, I hung a mate in one basically. Just keep going. I'll play Bishop G4 and now start to trade some stuff. This is like close to being a real, real position. A champ, you're winning against Magnus, pissed off some people. Antonio didn't even post one video since last night. What a coward. I don't know. I mean, whatever. I will just take. If Antonio really isn't posting a video because he's just annoyed by that, I mean, I, I don't know what to say, but I find it hard to believe that that's the reality. Let's go knight f6 here and just trade. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't really believe that. I mean, I know Antonio wasn't happen, happy, but like, come on, be serious. Yeah, like, be serious. Like, Antonio, like, I, I, I don't think I've ever seen Antonio actually, actually mad. Like, r like, mad. Like, he'll mo p make tweets and everything, but he doesn't seem like the kind of guy who's going to be, like, really mad about it. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, like, I mean, he's like, he, I mean, I mean, Antonio's like, he's like a very chill guy. He's like 2100. Like, it's very weird to me that Antonio would be mad. There are other people like Levon who I think might actually be mad for whatever insane reason. But like Antonio, no chance, no chance. Anyway, knight bd2, let's go knight d7 and knight d4 here. Very, very happy times. Um... Actually, yeah, let's go 94 anyway. Thank you so much to Phantom Skoda for the $5. Thank you so much to Phantom Skoda. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, I don't know. I don't really believe that. Out of all the people who might be mad that I'm mad about that, like, I, I don't think Antonio is one of them. <laughs> Play Queen B6 and Queen A6. Thank you so much Jar of 25 for the Prime. Okay, let's just trade some Queens because my guy can't count. He's just down a pawn for no reason. Um... How do I do this though? This is interesting. Um, I'll play a3 to tickle the pawn, but I think h4, h3 is fine too. No, let's see what's what's gonna happen here. Takes with the knight. I can take with either pawn. I'm gonna take with the d pawn. I I, I like my uh, zig ziggy zaggy, whatever you want to call it. Um, what did you guys say? You said um. Shocking news, a streamer wins the SEC. It happens, you guys. I mean, I, I actually alluded to one thing that I think is important. Um, well, I did I did allude to something, which I know people like, I don't know how you put it, but it's like, I would say like Fabiano, for example, I think since he started doing the podcast, he's, he's become like more chill and like all, all these things. Like, I think he is playing better chess. Like, I think in the US Championship, he played better because of it, as opposed to like, you know, I think people think it's like, okay, well, suddenly you have too much on your plate. You can't study chess properly, all these different things. But I do, I, I actually don't believe that. I'm going to be honest. I don't believe that. I think it's, um, I think that uh, if anything, it actually is beneficial so that you're focused, you're not like so razor focused on it to where it's like, that's all that that's all that you're thinking about i really do believe that like when people ask me about like um you know people wonder like how am i suddenly how did i suddenly become like roger federer in 2017 um the simple answer is it's just like for me i i'm not thinking about like my professional results all the time anymore it's just not what i'm doing so um that's that's a large part of it and i think for like fabiano not not having to like think about that 24 7 and, and all that stuff is probably helping him too thank you so much to yo kite for the prime thank you so much 
And obviously, guys, I'm not actually comparing myself to Roger Federer, but there is a, an apt analogy that for his like entire career, he was just getting completely boned by Rafa Nadal. Like he just lost every match, and then suddenly in 2017, he just suddenly started beating Nadal when he should be past his prime, on the verge of retirement. It's like, what the heck is going on? So that's what I'm alluding to. Let's play H5, H4. Uh, I'm gonna play A5, A4. Play D6. I mean, I remember that in 2017. You're suddenly watching. It's like. Federer is like 36. Like, why is he suddenly beating the doll when he should just be like, it should be time to retire? Comparing himself to Federer, I'm using con context matters, you guys. Context. I never said I'm Roger Federer, please. I don't think Magnus would even say that he's a, as good at chess as Roger Federer is at tennis. So I, I I'm sorry, but let, let's let, let's let's be serious for a second. Don't like, don't take it and like. Don't take it and spin it in some like really ridiculous way, okay? Yeah. Magus is better than Fetter. <laughs> okay, dude. Okay, good, good job, dude. Yeah. Now it's heading to LSF, maybe. I think there's a Sasagan for the tier one. Thank you so much, Sasagan. Okay, um, there should be some tactical stuff here. I'm gonna go here. I'm trying to do something. I don't know exactly what I'm doing. I have a three. There should be something here. I don't know what, but this feel. I feel it in my bones. These are just Ziami chest for the 18 months. I don't know. I feel something here. I'm gonna go a three and tickle the pawns now a little bit. B three. I guess I'm gonna plot my pony. Great bashing on B four here. Better is not even top to in his sport though. Okay, you guys, come on. Better is a great. I mean, okay, whatever. We don't need to have that debate right now. be one I guess we'll drop back but the point that I was just making a simple point that like Federer for his whole career was losing to Nadal and then suddenly in 2017 when he's like he's old and he should be over the hill he's suddenly like beating Nadal and it just doesn't make sense it's the same thing like I mean I'm old I'm 35 like I should be um you know I mean I should be over the hill like my, my time my time I should be over the hill Magnus should still be great and like he's a couple of years younger and suddenly like I'm competitive out of nowhere uh, okay, 91. I guess I'll take and just create a classic wooden shield here. And what's really sad is I think King F2 is the only move he can play. We'll play E6 here. If it was Knight C2, I will take, obviously. Let's take the pawn. I mean, I'd probably go F5 here. I mean, this wooden shield is just crushing on D4. It's really, really good. Thank you so much to Mavagusta for the nine months. Thank you so much to Mavagusta. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Let's go F5 again. His king is in the middle of the board. This has to be winning. I mean, this somehow he's okay, though. Somehow he's okay. I'm going to play G5 to really spice the board up. I'm just going to try to set the board on fire here. Do you, do you have any idea why all of a sudden the whole of the internet hates Cristiano Ronaldo? I, why would I know you guys? I'm not sure. Did, is there something I'm supposed to know? He goes King E2, which again looks kind of ridiculous. I mean, the, the open file hurts his king more than it hurts my king, I think. I mean, his king is in the middle of the board. Like, he's got four pieces on the line. This, this cannot be good. Hikaru is the Megan of Royals. Is that a compliment or an insult? I don't even know. Um, yeah, uh, I can hit him with a check, too. Let's let's hit him with a check. And now I'm going to hit him with Queen E7. I mean, there's just too much chaos here. Too much chaos, and he resigns. Let's keep going. Who cares? Let's play H4. Oh, 2,500. A big guy. Fanat. Okay. Fanat Magnus. So this must be... I don't speak Latin, but Fanat Magnus. This guy must be a fan of Magnus, right? Fanat Magnus. Good D4 here. Funny thing is, this is actually almost a real... This is actually kind of like a real... This is like a French with H4. Why is a British guy playing the French? Like, is there something wrong with him? Don't the Brits and the French hate each other? Or am I just stupid? Let's go to G4. 
Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know. I think it's over to bubble Boba Fett for the prime. Oh, is that not? Oh, is that not England? No, it is England, you guys. It's not Georgia. Don't say it's Georgia. That's England. Oh, fake flag. Okay. Yeah. I mean, don't they hate each other? Like, haven't they hated each other for the last 500 years? Like every, every petty little thing, Scotland, you know, America, all these different places. Isn't everything like been like some sort of little proxy war between the two of them? I'm English and yes, we hate France. Okay. Yeah. I mean, the war of eight, well, 1812, I mean, no, that was not so much, but like, I'm just saying like, you've got the Scottish. Oh my gosh. I just hung a pawn for no reason. Why did I do that? Stupid. So Bishop E3 here. Play F4. I guess I'll go Knight of three. I'm down a pawn here. It's not actually very good, but I'll still win because E4 is a strange move. It's not a bad move, but it's just a strange move to play. Rook C1. Go B4. I'm just going to go all in here and try to kill him on the queen side, basically. He played because he knows he'll lose this one. Thank you so much. DVD bam lock for the 100 bits. Okay, I'm just going to eat it with the pony. I mean, this feels very good. It's all very, very good, though. Goes Bishop B6. I mean, this gives me Knight F7. This gives me Knight G6. Multiple options. Oh, I think I'm going to go for this one. I don't even know if it's best, but it makes some sense, I guess. I'm going to take the Rook in the corner pocket. We go Rook F1 and take with the King. Oh, I could have traded out everything with Queen H2, but whatever. It's all good. Did I win yesterday versus Magnus? Yeah, I, I somehow did win the match. Um... I mean, not bad for a streamer, that's all I can say. Not bad for a piddly little streamer. Here's a sulky for the three months. Thank you so much, sulky. Appreciate it. Queen d6, I mean, I, I'm definitely better, but this I have to be very precise here to win this game. I have to show some good technique. Congrats, man. You made the Twitch community proud. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I missed... Ah, shoot. I missed... B ah, that's... Ah, uh. I don't like my position at all. I'm still okay, but... Ah. Okay, at least I get to trade the queens. Without queens on the board, I will win against everybody not named Magnus. Thank you so much to KG Faraday for the 12 months. Was it the most watched match? I don't know. I mean, I think the World Championship match game six had to have had more people at its peak, but it was pretty, it was pretty high. The number was very high, I think. Um, I guess I'll go here and trade some bishops. So, yeah. Magnus would have won one more game if you hadn't taken shelter in time. Good one, you guys. Good one. Over 1 billion. No, you guys, we're talking chess, not, not football. Come on. I mean... Yes, we know. We all know chess is not comparable to football, but that, I mean that's not really saying very much. I mean that's not saying very much at all. Now we have the split towers, so I'm going to split them wide, and there are multiple ladders. I'm going to take again. Okay, how do I do this? Um, I split the ladders wide again. I guess I'll go. I'll go here. He's actually he's laddered. He's completely laddered here. There's nothing he can do. And he goes back, I, I made him on the 7th with Castlemania. Thank you so much to Ben Coppins for a 17 at Rainier for the 100 bits. Thank you so much. We're playing some some FM Kid 007. This guy thinks he's James Bond or something. Some some FM Kid 007. Ooh. Ooh. Knight C3. What do you spend your money on? Well, I definitely don't spend it buying Tesla stock because that's down in the toilet. Um... Okay, I've, I don't actually... What am I doing? I guess I'm going to put all my pawns. This is a great wall on the fourth rank. Um, this is actually terrible, by the way. <laughs> what am I even doing? What the heck? I mean, this is just awful. Maybe there's an It Sensei Poo for the gifted sub. I mean, this is actually horrible. Oh, but he doesn't take advantage. He just trades. Wow. Wait a second. Wait a second. This there should be a answer.
Of course, I'm thinking way too long here. I mean, maybe I just go knight b5 or something. I think I just go here. Because I have a5 to kick the queen out of town. I think I'm okay here. I think I'm okay. He does have knight g4 or something, though, which could be a problem. I think there's a discounted cash for the tier one of Betty Buddy for the uh, tier one. Thank you so much. Yeah, Marcus not looking so looking too hot again today. It looks like another bad day. <laughs> okay, let's go rook a two. Just guard everything fancy schmancy. Now I have knight d five as well. Thank you so much to it's like boo for the eleven months. Thank you so much to it's like boo. Okay, now I have knight d five and maybe knight c seven. I mean, I don't know what the heck is going on here. This is very strange. I also have f three and bishop e three. Can you tell us how do you manage your mental during games? So oh, it's very simple. I just literally don't care. Um, so knight c7, so I'm targeting the rook here. I think I go f3 to kick the knight out of town now. Um, uh, maybe I should have played h3, not f3, but mm, that's what it is. Um, okay, but now isn't he losing something here? I mean, this looks terrible. This looks actually horrible. Horrible, horrible by... Mr. Wannabe James Bond. Looks very, very bad. I mean, I think I just keep keep being aggressive. What is that? <laughs> uh, so bad so bad just so bad 2500 i mean really really he gets forked and i get a new queen or that sounds kind of wrong let's play a4 here um because i take the rook and then i make a new queen um for a5 here um Go E3. Yeah, actually, yeah. Uh, let's play C4. <laughs> okay, let's take. Um, let's go Bishop C4 here. Yeah. Knight B4. Probably a good move. I'm going to play D4. I don't care. He can take a pawn. Nobody cares. Maybe I even sack on F7. I don't know. I can play E4, but I think I'm just going to... I also have d5. I mean, I'm trying to find some way to complicate, but I'll just castle. Hopefully, I'm not blundering something huge. Congrats for the SEC. We need more match between you. You're simply the only ones playing on the level. I mean, my gut says to just sack and say to heck with everything, but okay, let's just sack. Let's go e4. Let's let's really spice this game up. I mean, this probably doesn't work realistically, but it's very interesting. He pre-moved the king? Well, it's a good pre-move. Because if, if I don't take, it can't be executed. Oh, this is... Yeah, Ms. Doubtfire. Exactly. Yep. Yeah, true. And this is very sharp. Very, very sharp position. Take and check. I mean, this looks very scary to me. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Maybe it's nothing. Okay, I'm just going to keep developing then. I don't know what Knight B3 do Knight C3 does, but it does something. It's got what, G6? I guess Knight C6. I guess I'll just take the pawn. Why not? So... Queen G5, I guess? I'm down materials, but again, Michael Towel would, or Michael Tao would really like this position. Very, very aggressive. So here, maybe like Rook D1 next move. Yeah, just Rook D1. Not super scared, because I still have Knight D5 tricks as well. Um, I think that's a blunder. Oh, 
Mine's that though. Wait a second. Wait, wait, wait a second. This must be winning. Wait. Yeah, because when he takes, he gets sauce. He gets absolutely mated in the middle of the board. Now I hit him with queen g4, and I mean this. <sighs> Actually, wait, did I misplay this? Oh, do I have knight a8 for the crazy, crazy, crazy move? Maybe. Somehow I misplayed this, though. This is not... This is very, very unclear. Oh, he finds h5, which is the only move that does not lose on the spot. That's crazy. Back. I guess I have to do this and just play a better end game. I'm up a pawn. Like, this is winning. I just was hoping there was more than this. But I have mean, b4, and this, this should be very rudimentary. Takes. I mean, this, this should be pretty straightforward. So f3, I have rook c1. Plays like an L Magnus. Thank you so much to Alan for the tier one. Thank you so much to Alan. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, that doesn't change anything. Just rook c1, king f2. And we just play as like a, a Magnus. C6. Okay, resigns. Let's keep going. Do one more. Play Magnus Carlson style? Yeah, of course. Okay, there we go. Oh, we got the same dude. Okay, one more. I'm flinging the pawns again. All right, what's happening? E3, I'm going to play C5 again. I'm just pushing, pushing, kind of like pushing P or something. So that's what we're doing. We're pushing P. Thank you so much to Shine for the 32 Wildstar for the 10. Thank you to J Theory for the 100 bits. Um, When in doubt, I kind of want to... Yeah, I'll play Bishop D7. Pushing P, yeah, that's a saying, you guys. But D4 is the problem. I guess I'll just play F6. Who cares? Like, he, he's not good enough to beat me. A lot of four-class games, so why should I be afraid? Did I have any money in FTX? Thank thankfully, no. I've not. I've never. I've never been a crypto bro, so no. I think. I, I think I put thirty thousand dollars into Ethereum, but that's the, the only crypto that I hold. Only crypto that I hold, and it's not worth thirty thousand anymore, obviously, because Ethereum's like half the price or or, or less. Okay, knight d2 is actually, I think, a very good move. Let's go knight b4 here. I think blockchain is going to be big. I don't know. Knight d2 is a very good move, by the way. Um, like a very, actually, like a very good move. I guess I'll go bishop c6 here. Wasn't your old team sponsored by FTX? Did they not have FTX options? No, of course not, you guys. Why? Why would they have that? Not, that's not how deals work. If, if you guys actually think that's how they work, that's not how they work. King with a pawn, so he just has no squares for these knights. These knights have nowhere to go. That's why I took and I create the Tower of Power. Things are just a magic Laketo for the prime. I mean, this is a bit much. I'll take with the king. Things are just B H A E Y. So here, I, I want to get my king to safety, basically. Once my king is safe, a four I'll take and play like knight h6 and knight f5 or knight g4. Could have gone knight e7, knight d5 too, but this looks pretty good. Here's just a rest in peace for the seven and big daddy patty for the 25 months. Um, I'll go here. Rook d2 is a good move. This guy's actually playing much better. He, I think he felt a little bit disappointed in his performance, and so he's actually playing pretty well this game. Because Rook D1, I'll trade, of course. I guess I'll bring my other pony into the game. Now I have Knight D5 at some point. 
play h4, but I don't really like it. Uh, I guess I'll just go knight d5 then, which is actually a bad move. Yeah, he's got bishop a3, which I completely forgot about. Okay, so he's happy to draw the game. Obviously, I don't want to draw the game, so I'm just going to start playing some rando moves and try to flag him. I can't flag him, that's my own fault. He goes c3, which looks a little bit sus. Not bigly sus, but it's a little sus. Um... Oh, he plays rook d3. I did not wait, but now I have rook e8 and trying to get a little bit sketchy. I think there's a Martin for the four months. I need Ulan Kalufa. Uh, no, no, sir. No, sir. That's not how you do it. I've got to, I've got to attack the pawns here. I've got to break the chain. Takes and gh2 is just winning. Either Wizard Ken for the seven and Lehman Brothers for the eleven months. Thanks for Lehman Brothers. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go use the restroom really quickly, and then we're gonna keep on going. So give me a few minutes. <laughs> 